Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Zooey Mama is back and again we got a great little tutorial for you today. And this is one of the classic mobs because I've been getting requests for making some classic mobs. So we've done that, but also make sure you stick around because I have got um, the skeleton horse and the zombie horse to show you a little bit later on. But first we're going to get down to the classic mob as promised. And yes, we're going to start with the creeper. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of creepers knocking around, I've seen a lot of creeper builds, but, you know, I had to do my little spin on things, so, um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, how do you think I've got on here? I mean, I kind of like it, I mean, it's probably not one of my most favourite builds that I've done, but I do still like it, and, um, it has quite a lot of different colour blocks on there, um, a lot of greens, anyway, enough of that, let's get on to the colours and blocks. So we're kicking it off with white concrete, black concrete, green terracotta, lime concrete, lime terracotta, green wool, what else we got here, light grey wool, and we've got some lime wool, so like I said, a lot of different greens, but they're needed, of course. Okay, so you know the drill by now, people, all you need to do is copy this pattern, whatoo, onto that section there there we go make sure you pause it and the, okay i'll tell you what this is going to be the easiest build you're going to do all week i'm telling you so what, once you've done that one side you're going to panel around to the right hand side and copy this pattern again really straightforward all you need to do is copy what i'm doing just make sure you get the right colors down there all right and then spin on around to the back we're going to do the back end and yeah I've did, this this I've did a bit, little bit of a different style this time in the build because as you see I've already pre-built this part rather than doing my camera magic but anyway and then we're going to spin on round to the final side like so and that is your first creeper foot or leg I don't know what they are, are they feet? I crawl it? I don't know what they are but anyway there you go there's the first one so as simple as that once you've done that we're going to go to the back of this one and we're going to go one two three four five and on at that fifth block, you're going to now place whoo, the same exact foot, leg, whatever you want to call it. But you want to place another one right there. Okay, so, so far, so good. Congratulations, you've done some feet. <laughs> right, so now we're going to go up and we're going to build on this section here, as you see. So it should be overhanging the both feet all the way around. Okay, so I'm just sort of marking it out just to show you where it's going to roughly go. And if I can actually build and place stuff down, it would actually help in the video. But there we go. So this is going to start there. And here we go. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on here? Awful. I can't even control it anymore. There we go. We're going to place that panel on that first block, which we showed you there. Right. So easy, straightforward so far. And we're going to panel round again and do that side see what i mean guys is i've done a completely different build this time normally obviously i do a little bit of camera magic but this time i thought this creeper is so easy to build you're going to have fun doing it and it's going to be a breeze i'm telling you you've, you've probably built half of the stuff that i've done if you have well done it's taken me a long time so i'm guessing you've probably done it in a, in a lot of a quicker time than i did i guarantee you that and then we're going to do the final panel here we go just like so and we are literally done. We have done the feet, we've done the main body. All we need to do is pop on the head, and that's the creeper done. Looking good, looking good so far. So here we go. We're going to pop on the head. So what you want to do is overhang this by two, that side, and then follow the body all the way across, and then overhang by two again. So it should be a total of eight, I believe. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high as well. There we go. So you want to do a box eight by eight, and this is obviously going to be the head. And then, there we go. We've got his big green head on there. There we go. Looking cool. So we're going to spin on round to the side, as always. You know the drill so far. And we're going to do the side part of the head. And there we go. And, you know, I was very reluctant to actually do this build. Um, I only really did it because um, I had a few people request and do some classic mobs. So this is for you guys out there that wanted a classic mob. But, um, I mean, to me, you know, I quite enjoyed making this creeper, but I would have, yeah, I, I don't know, I just found it, I found it relatively easy. Let, let's put it that way. I found this one easy, and I don't think it has a great appeal to it, just as much as the other mobs do, um, because creepers have been obviously overbuilt. Um, everyone's built a creeper, everyone knows how to do it, and they're really simple as well. So I was just, yeah, I was sort of on the fence whether to do it, but... 
The only reason why I did it, like I said, is obviously just for you guys who requested it. So there you go. There's the creeper. I mean, I've got two, but yeah, look at that. Anyway, let's get on to... Let me show you a little sneaky peek of two builds that we're actually going to be... what well, are in process of making the videos for now. But obviously, these are requests that various people have actually asked for. Um, don't laugh when you see it. Please don't laugh, all right? I really struggle building these, so I hope you appreciate it. So first off, we have got the zombie horse. Now, look at that. Take it all in ingest it what do you think because i'll tell you what it took me hours to get this guy looking right um the problem with horses which i really struggled with was the neck because as you know that the horses actually have a slanted neck and i have actually tried to build this horse with that slanted neck but it didn't quite look right because as you know minecraft is a very blocky game and trying to get angles on it um it's quite difficult, especially in the small scale. I mean, if I upscaled this this horse to like huge, like massive, then obviously you'd be able to get a proper angle and it'd look fairly decent. But at this size, it was very difficult. So I had to go with a straight neck, unfortunately. But I think it turned out all right. Apart from that, I mean, the colors, again, it was one of those tricky ones where uh, I kind of struggled, I kind of didn't because obviously I would have liked a few more different greens in there. But nevertheless, I think it turned out all right. And um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you think. I mean, do you want me to build this in a future um, future video? Because I mean, I, I, I probably will do in fact. Um, but yeah, I don't know how requested this guy actually is. But I mean, like I said, it took me a fair while. So I hope you appreciate that. And this one is obviously the skeleton horse. And again, another one where, oh, it took me a little while to do, but might I add, this is not finished yet. The The zombie horse is actually finished. The skeleton horse still needs some color on there, right? So this, I've just built it all in white to start off with because that's generally how I do my builds. I'll start it all off in one color and then I'll sort of go on to adding the color into it afterwards. So just bear that in mind, right? Because I've actually today finished the colored version. Um, I ain't really added too much color to it, just a different few grays to add it, give it a bit more texture and depth. But apart from that, um, it's still white. Um, with with the addition to grey and might I say it does look a massive massive way better than what it does right now right so just bear that in mind that is not the finished product all right so yeah but anyway which one do you think's the best let me know because um I know I've got my favorite but do you have yours uh, I guess it's not really a fair chest yet because obviously you haven't seen the skeleton fully done yet and this guy, oh, I, I don't know. This is probably one of my most favorite builds actually that I've done. It's the husk. Um, I actually built the husk on one of my chicken jockeys as well. So I used the same sort of color palette that I used for the chicken jockey husk and just upscaled it essentially into this guy. And you know what I'm like. I don't particularly like adding blocks that have a texture to it. And I mean, I've had to use a few different birched woods here just because for the, the color. Um, but it actually turned out all right. I actually quite enjoyed that part. So, um, yeah. What do you think? I mean, that will be an upcoming video as well. I don't know when, but it will be shortly when I finally get through to it. And another request I had also was the baby villager. Again, please don't laugh because it's a work in progress, all right? This is its basic form. Um, I've tried to obviously make it a good enough version that it doesn't look silly, but I've not added any colors to it yet. It's obviously just got the brown waistcoat and and then that's it. And I've did the texture on the face. But I mean, apart from that, we've still got a little bit of work to go on to that one. And again, another one. It's the spider. Um, I think I might showcase this one off before. And again, a sort of work in progress because it's one of those builds where I built it and I couldn't get the colors right on it. But I do. There's something I like about it, but there's something I don't. I think it might be just because of the colors that I've used. Um, and I couldn't get a colour quite similar to the actual the mob itself. So that's that's always my struggle sometimes trying to do these builds. But nevertheless, it's there and it may come in a future build. I'm not sure yet. And again, another one. This was a salmon. Um, someone did request this one as well. And again, it looks pretty cool. But I, once I made it, I looked at it and thought, that looks like a turtle's head strapped to a fish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's just my thought. And there we go. There's the baby husk that I was talking about earlier. So, um, yeah, what do you think? Pretty cool? I don't know. Let me know what you think, people. Let me know. I've been Zooey Mama, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.